Hello, friends, family, and assorted gamers. This is Stu Stu Magoo coming at you with another Minecraft episode. Today we are in Mine Bricks, uh, the Mine Bricks texture pack, which basically is a slightly incomplete but Lego inspired resource pack. Um, for shaders today, we're using Kappa 5.2. So we're above ground, we're in Kappa. Um, I know YouTube commenter mentioned that I should try to use different packs. So this is kind of me following through on that. Um, I absolutely love that the pigs match the cherry wood. So the cherry wood, the pigs are identical. And that's what I was going for. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Yeah, today, uh, my thought process was after the sun is finished setting is, uh, we'll be able to go ahead and get a, uh, kind of desert or a jungle. So I really want to do an exploration episode, which means we're going to get our horse, uh, out of the stables. But actually, let me, uh, go in here real quick, harvest some of the wheat. Okay, those are wheat seeds. Gotcha. Yeah, you can tell this resource pack is incomplete. You can see the uh, particle effects are uh, not up to par. I see, though, he's put a lot of effort into the sound of this resource pack. Trying to make everything sound plastic. Yeah, I mean, it works in a lot of places. Some places, obviously, not as well. And I'll just go ahead and uh, chuck that all in here. And uh, not all the textures are done either. So you can see there's still a few default Minecraft textures that come through. There we go. Get rid of those. Oh, hey, we'll be able to sleep. Clack, clack, clack. I mean, overall, though, the textures he has done, they are very Lego, so... I'm grateful for the Lego textures we do have. Alright, and with that wheat we got, I'm gonna go ahead and make it into blocks. Because I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain that that's how you breed horses and donkeys. It might be with golden carrots, and if that's the case, we just have to trade with villagers. But there's like a part of me that's like, hold up, it could be hay bales. All right, so let me uh, get my trusty steed. I would like to. Thank you. Disconnect you. All right. Will you guys breed? No. I might have been thinking of llamas, so they'll they'll eat it, but they won't breed with it. That's okay though. We'll, we'll worry about that another time. We will make a mule and then... Whoa, where did you come from? You are not a part of our sheep farm. I'm afraid the penalty is death. And I guess we'll just take that with us and hope for the best because... All right, well, we got to... We got to put at least some of this away. I don't think we need to take feathers with us on our quest. Don't go anywhere. We'll just pop over here. Wow, a lot of these, like, I don't know, some of those textures I disagree with. Eh. Not everything is as I would have done it were I the maker of this resource pack, but that's okay, because differing opinions, they make the world go round. Something, something, it takes all sorts to make a world. Eh, I think that's enough inventory slots if we really 
Oh, well, I'll put the netherite hoe here because we're not really hoeing anything. We shouldn't be hoeing anything on this trip. All right, bud. Let's go see if we can find ourselves a jungle. I'm gonna go through the normal path that we normally travel upon. And I won't do any cuts, so YouTube commentary, I know you mentioned last time that I cut all of the exploration out of my last exploration video. I intend to rectify that wrong today, so today, um, I will make sure that I am not uh, cutting anything out that I shouldn't. But uh, we will go ahead and ride down our road. We're going to go past the village, and I'm going to try to be a little more stick to the left than I was previously. So I believe there's some warm biomes that come up, and warm biomes lead to jungles. So I think last time we went out this direction, we hit the savanna, and the savanna was... Pretty crucial. So that's the direction we're going to go. Uh, one major event that I do want to point up, so I'm recording this at the beginning of July. It's actually Independence Day as I record this. Ah! Um, ooh, that's going to cause issues for me, isn't it? Uh, plastic. It is Independence Day as I record this, so... You know, there's a little bit of leeway, there's a little bit of lag time, but anyways... Uh, what I was uh, going to say is that very recently we passed the one-year anniversary of Technoblade's passing. And his dad and Skeppy put up a good hour-long discussion of Technoblade, his life, what he's done, and... You know, just fond memories each of them had with him. And I will say that Technoblade is a big reason why I'm even playing Minecraft and maybe even doing this series. So I had really checked out on Minecraft as a whole because I'm a very old school Minecraft player. I come more from the Yogg's cast era when Lewis and Simon were doing Survival Island. That's really when I got involved with Minecraft. Oh! Horse, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. But you know, I'm more from that Yogg's Cast era of Minecraft and not really from a more modern era. Uh, I can probably just ride the coast here. Um, but I feel like that gives me a fairly unique. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna be desaddled. I should have brought a lead with me and I absolutely didn't. <laughs> Uh, but no, yeah, so coming from an older era of Minecraft, there's... I, I guess I came to Minecraft when it was still kind of an older teen slash adult thing. <laughs> Ow! You know, and Notch's code was still what reigned supreme, so we didn't even have, you know, Yens or other devs working on this. Alright, we might need to... At this stage, I'm going to go ahead and make a boat. I'm going to plunk down our crafting table. Don't go too far, horse. I had a lead this whole time. That's okay, though, because we're going to make a fence. Oh, that's dirt. All right, this resource pack is throwing me for a loop. There we go. Fences. Well. And then we'll use our leads. Where did my horse go? Man, you went far, dude. Come on, man. Come back. But yeah, but when I came to Minecraft, it was really more of a... Uh, more of like a science experiment. And less a realized game. I mean, as I like to say, the kids hadn't discovered it yet. And so, you know, it was really more of a uh, cool niche indie game than it was uh, the product of Microsoft's greed. And so for the longest time, I had checked out for Minecraft because I was like, eh, 
there's nothing really for me here anymore. You know, I have already, uh, you know, experienced the game in its alpha phase, and I really enjoyed it in alpha, but, you know, now that we're not in that anymore, and we're in this strange, brave new world of, you know, the Microsoft ownership and bringing on all these new features, and I feel like every YouTuber was in a role play. So it was nothing but SMPs and schools and all this kind of nonsense. And so the Minecraft that I really liked, which was uh, not really edited, you know, just straight Let's Plays that people would do. And, you know, they weren't build tutorials. They were just, hey... I'm playing Minecraft for an hour and a half, two hours, whatever. You're welcome to watch me. That's really the Minecraft that I grew up on. And that changed, you know. It's like people didn't watch it. In fact, JLG Reality, and I'll uh, put the link in the description. Uh, JLG Reality was the first Minecraft Let's Play that I watched. I want to say his channel name is updated since then. He does not do current... What the... No! What? Was that lightning? Alright, if this is a actual thunderstorm, I should be able to sleep. Yeah, okay. That scared the tar out of me. I was less than okay. <laughs> Make fun of me all you want, but that was terrifying. Nope, I was less than okay with that, too. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, hey, and I already see what we came here for, so the whole reason I made this voyage was actually for what I just saw on the horizon. Off to our left. That is what I believe to be bamboo. That's a ravine. Okay, well, luckily the ravine doesn't go that far. <laughs> but yeah, so JLG Reality, that was like the first... Uh, it was actually an alpha. It was an alpha Minecraft Let's Play. And absolutely loved it. He Like, the buildings were not these fancy, super amazing buildings. It was really nothing to turn your nose up at, but... Whoa! It was something that was near and dear to my heart. That was a very close zombie. But anyways, yeah, so those kind of Let's Plays just died out. It became very uncool. To have that as your MO. I'm actually surprised that I found a jungle this fast. I was expecting the jungle to be by that savanna we found. But hey, I mean, if we found it now, we found it now. 47 bamboo, not a bad start. Oh, yeah, there's even more. So we should have like a good stack almost of bamboo. Let's go ahead and get jungle trees while we're here. I mean, heck, that was a successful run. But yeah, JLG Reality, um, that was the kind of Let's Play that I was into, and no one was doing that anymore. And I thought that, well, with these new generation of YouTubers, you know, like even Captain Sparkles had more become, you know, some random YouTuber as opposed to making his music videos and content that I love, and he was doing a lot of, like, Vault Hunter stuff, which I wasn't really into Vault Hunters at the time. Here, we'll go ahead and pill her up with dirt. I don't know, I just felt like there wasn't a whole lot for me in Minecraft anymore. So I was super over it. Well, then, uh, one of my friends turned me on to Technoblade, and it was actually because of the Potato War, if I'm not mistaken. And he's like, look, man, you gotta, you gotta watch this YouTuber. He's, he's farming potatoes for no reason other than to be the number one potato farmer on this, you know, Minecraft multiplayer server. And I was intrigued. I was like, all right, you know, 
I like I, I'm a very petty person and anyone willing to be that petty for an arbitrary goal was okay in my book. So I started watching him and honestly once I started watching Technoblade, I was really hooked on all of his content, just the whole vibe that he put out. It captured a lot of the m magic of Minecraft YouTube that had long been lost to me. And I was a very just, I followed his videos religiously. I was devastated when he made the, his announcement that he was facing cancer. And I was very certain he was going to beat it. Because he just seemed like the kind of guy that would have cancer beat cancer and then be like, all right, you scrubs, what were you all worrying about? It was only cancer, guys. Like, what was it really going to do to me? But um, reality being different, he did succumb to his disease. And his uh, father actually was the one that posted his farewell message which I guess had been a long time coming. And since then, like Wilbur Suit and Tommy Ennett and all those Minecraft YouTubers, they've all posted their tributes, their experiences through that time and what they knew of his situation and all that. Do I have at least four of those saplings? Yeah, oh, I have one sapling. I actually don't know. Okay, I just have one jungle sapling. Which is technically enough. I'd be more comfortable if I had four jungle saplings. I think that was the second one. Okay. Got two jungle saplings. Three jungle saplings. Please, sir, can I have one more? And then we really gotta row the boat back home. But yeah, no, we... Oh, I think that was it, right? Was that it? Yeah, okay, we have four jungle saplings. We're okay now. We got bamboo, we got jungle saplings. We're good. Oh, is that a temple? That looks like a temple. This is... A... Alright, how do we get into it, though? Where's the front of this temple? This temple of moss. It's honestly not that bad in this. Whoa! Lego texture pack. Um, where is the entrance? Come on. I might need to just mine my way in. We really don't need the berries. I'll just mine this part out. You, you guys didn't see that. That block was there the whole time. We never removed it. Yeah. Look at us. I hear skeletons. I hear spiders. We almost got shot with an arrow. Whoa! Oh, that was from, from, from the tripwire. Ah. Uh, um. Where where is that dispen? Ow! Oh, the dispenser is literally right here, covered by moss. But my resource pack prevented me from seeing it. That was embarrassing. Oh, hello. Hey, wild armor trim. We got armor trims, guys. We'll go ahead and put these in here. That that will unlock some crafting recipes. Um, actually, I'll put no. I guess I'll put the no. I'm always so torn about what to leave behind. Oh yeah, well, we have over a stack of jungle log. I'm sure we can leave that behind. There was another dispenser that yeah okay here here's the other dispenser. We'll take these arrows, too. <laughs> Alright. Did that open the, the, the thing? 
I don't even know where it's supposed to open. I'm pretty bad at this. Is there a door? I think it's something that opens up somewhere. I, I mean, I've always just broken this. I don't know. I, there, There's a way that actually opens this. And I didn't do that. Oh, hello. Take you as well. And I guess I can, well... We'll leave the sticks behind. I guess all that's left then is to go home. Oh, I should eat though. And I guess I should put that mossy cobblestone back. Oh, that, yeah, that, that, that's where the puzzle is. So let's see, we return this to the up position. There, we put both of those down. Nothing. Put that up. Something. What if we put the middle one down? Put all three down. No. Put that one up. This is why I've never been good at this. Put that one up. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's sleep. All right, let's go home. Uh, compass. Yeah, this resource pack is very incomplete, but kind of worth it. I do think it is very faithful to Lego. Oh, did I throw my compass on the, on, on, on the, yeah. Whoops. All right, we gotta get back to our horse. I'll go ahead and eat. I think we're supposed to be able to find pandas in here too, so I'll have to remember where this is. I honestly thought we were going to hit that desert long before we hit this. But I guess not. Yeah. Damage. I don't know. I feel like the, the parts of this resource pack that were done were done super well. I do get a Lego vibe from every creature that they've Legoified, every piece of block, flora, and fauna. It's all Lego. It's all reflective, like Lego are. I'm overall very okay with this resource pack and what they've done with it. All right, there's a hill over there. Did I just miss this whole jungle last time I went out this direction? That would kind of reflect poorly on me as a Minecrafter. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch that, that last video the last time I went this direction and see, like, okay, did I actually completely miss this? Or, you know, maybe I just never stumbled across the right blocks to actually generate that jungle. I, I thought I was going to have to go out a lot further. I thought I was going to have to do even a cut. Alright, well here's the lake that we, or the ocean rather, that we crossed. 
Pretty sure if we sail straight across, we'll find our horse again. Yeah, there's a mushroom forest, which I believe we were to the right of. I was just kind of happy to get the armor template, though. All right. Horse, I think you were here at the base of the hill. Yeah, horse. Get my boat back. Lead on. Lead on. Lead on. All right, let's just go home. As I almost fell into that cave. I actually really like Mindbreaks. I really want to support the development. Um, they don't have a Patreon that I know of. They just have a Gumroad shop, which I feel like is a little bit... Ow! Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a little bit of a grift on their part, because instead of just paying them monthly and getting updates, literally, they just like, all right, here's Mindbreaks, in this case, V10. Here's Mindbreaks V10. Um, the lower resolutions are free, but if you want a higher resolution, like what I'm using, it's like you got to cough up the, the five bucks. Oh, five bucks at least. You have the option to pay more. So, you know, if you really just be like, I want to support my bricks development, you could always throw them, you know, like a hundred dollars or whatever. I don't recommend that. But, uh, you know... You can support them, however, but I, I don't know. I, I just feel like the if they had like a Patreon or something, I could feel like, you know, buying a year of their Patreon, like with Patrick's, you know, he supports himself on Patreon. So every single month he is actively developing the pack, he's going to get support from me. But when new versions come out or if he decides to post extra new versions one month, I'm not screwed out of the money. Come on. I love the clickety clack of the blocks. Yeah, zombies. We're in that area, I think, where we had the thunderstorm. Uh, if it wasn't for the compass, I would absolutely lose my bearing. Ooh, ravine. Made me a little sick to my stomach. Hello, chicken. I don't need a chicken anymore. Oh, we're getting to the village. All right, all right. We're, we're almost home. Hello, villagers. Which also have not been updated in this pack. Like, neither Patrick's nor Mind Bricks have touched villagers. I would like to see them do so. But anyways, uh, I guess we will get back home. Tie our horse up. Start growing some of the bamboo. Get one of the jungle trees growing. And that's going to give us access to the bamboo wood type. And after I unload all these resources, uh, we will also try to head back out to find a desert. Because a desert is another thing that I would like. And then in line with the uh, YouTube commenter's comment, um, he believes there may be an ancient city below our base. I'm terrified. <laughs> Um, you might have seen through both this and through my All the Mod series, I am a skittish, scared player. I don't like to go into a fight unless I'm guaranteed victory. But in the case of the uh, Warden, I know if the Warden wanted to, it could just destroy me. But uh, for the sake of YouTube Commenter, we will go into the Deep Dark. Next episode, you have my commitment, regardless of what happens, we're going to go on to the latest Soft Voxels update. We're going to go into the deep dark. Um, probably we'll switch off of Mine Bricks. 
uh, and get back to Patrick's. Because really, when I envisioned creating the series, uh, I envisioned it as a as a Patrick's series. The whole point of me actually making this is nobody does a let's play with Patrick's pack because it's so resource demanding. And I wanted to kind of buck the trend. It's like, no, well, I want to do a series that not a lot of people can or would do. And it was one of the driving factors uh, behind me updating my PC. Like, that's the reason I got the 5950X and the 3090 Ti, which I got on a killer deal. So, like, the 3090 Ti has always been like a $3,000 plus dollar card. And I was very fortunate to buy it the dip, so I got mine for about 900 which is not bad as far as 3090 Ti goes. All right, let's turn this into planks. So yeah, you know, the, the reason I've been sticking with Patrick's almost stubbornly... Ooh, is that a 9x9? Nine nine? Wow, it's a 9x9 nine nine recipe. You know, in the immortal words of Owen Wilson. Wow. Here, let me uh, go throw that gold away. There we go. That's expensive. A nine by nine. I mean, you know, I guess bamboo isn't exactly rare, but I, I thought it was going to be like a two by two recipe, not a three by three recipe. You're killing me. Look at those saplings and Lego. It's so well done. I am super pleased with that. But we got bamboo blocks, spruce blocks, all kinds of stuff. We got jungle wood now, which we can build with. I'm going to go ahead and pop and do the pig pen here. Spread the love. There we go. All four of yous. And I, and I also got to disenchant those books. That is also... Stay in there. Any of you guys break containment, you know, it's... Oh my goodness. I really do want to take a look real quick just to see... Oh wow, they did ladders. The ladders are done. Stone looks great. Get to deep slate. Oh, the dev even did deep slate. Bless their heart. Does not look bad, and it's all Lego looking. Ah, oh, they have not touched nether brick yet. Oh, wow, a lot of these blocks, not quite. Not quite what it should be. Yeah, I gotta go download the latest soft voxels and we'll get the full soft voxel effect from this. And I really hope that Mindbricks does continue to develop. It just might be a few versions before I plunk down another five bucks for this. But no, man, overall, not bad. It does feel very Lego. You know, like if I was playing Lego Star Wars and all the Lego Stormtroopers came out. Alright. I, I almost kind of have to know what the nether looks like. It's a really bad idea. My inventory is full. I have a slot in my inventory. <laughs> I just kind of want to know what the nether looks like. Did they, did they actually do any work in the nether? They kind of did. Not much, but some. They definitely worked on the lava. Ow. Thank you. Yeah. They did enough. Well, let's get back down. I really do need to build that staircase. I keep talking about it. I'm like, oh, hey, I got to build the staircase that goes down here. And they just never do. 
All right, those are all zombie piglins. None of them should care about me. There's mushrooms. I mean, the nether rack looks really good. Uh, they, they did a great job with that. Let's go all the way down to our netherite mine. All right, there's the soul sand. All right, well, they, they did okay. A lot of textures I probably would have done. I never spawn proofed my netherite mine either. Ow. Oh, they didn't do blackstone either. Yeah. They, they did a lot though, I will say. For overall, it does give off a very Lego feel. I'm okay with what they've done. I would like to see more though. But that's all right. All right, then we'll just go back to this cave. Not bad. Again, very Lego vibes. This is the opposite direction from spawn. But I also feel I should light this up because, oh, <gasps> oh, my heart. My heart leaped out of my throat, guys. Ugh, that felt gross. That felt very gross. All right, I gotta, I gotta knock this off. This is a little bit more apple than I intended to bite off. And I'm a Windows gamer. Now we are in the side of a mountain though. We are basically on the surface. All right, well, I guess I should sleep in a bed. Get back home. I really don't need that stone. I'm just gonna put that stone there. Um, but yeah, this has been Stu Stu Magoo. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the Lego resource pack. We're most likely going to Patrick's in the morning. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a better and safe rest of your day. Bye.